This is the Star News Brief. I'm Joy Liregi. Retired President Uhuru Kenyatta's continued stay in the country's political scene appears to be working up President William Ruto's Kenya Kwanzaa administration. Signs of their discomfort with Uhuru's continued dalliance with ODM leader Raila Odinga played out in the open for the first time on Sunday with Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Budavadi openly asking Uhuru to exit the stage. Mudavadi took a swipe at the fourth president, saying it was not obtaining that he was still an active political player many months after he officially handed over power. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. The Kenya police have adopted a new set of uniform for tests on its use. Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome and a few junior officers donned the new uniform on Monday. Officials aware of the developments confirmed the same, saying it was under test. The move has sparked discussion on social media. Other units in the National Police Service, including Administration Police Service and General Service Unit, which use jungle ones, will maintain their current uniforms. A number of ministries, state departments and agencies have suffered cuts in new budgetary alignments under consideration by Parliament. The development budget has been reduced by 96 billion shillings in the proposed mini-budget drawn by the Cabinet Secretary Juguna Dongo-led National Treasury. The cuts have also affected recurrent budgets by ministries to the tune of 55 billion shillings, including 10 billion shillings for the National Intelligence Service. Recurrent budget for the Energy Department was also slashed by 3 billion shillings, 3 billion shillings in the case of foreign affairs, 1.8 billion shillings in respect of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, and 1.3 billion shillings for the Health Ministry. Doctors working in Nairobi have demanded the immediate renewal of their National Health Insurance Fund comprehensive cover by the county government. On Monday, the medics abandoned work and marched to Governor Johnson Sakaja's office at City Hall seeking his audience. The protest brought streets around City Hall to a standstill between 10 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. as the medics encircled Sakaja's office. Two children died and 11 others were admitted to hospital after eating beans in Lugari sub-county. The 11 were admitted to the Webuye Sub-County Hospital on Sunday evening. The incident occurred in Sinatule Village, Lugari, in Kakamega County. Their father, John Romalwa, said the children ate a bean meal prepared by his first wife before she left for church on Sunday. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.